Hey friends all over the world. I didn't plan to make this video, but I'm going to make it because I need to. And I want you to listen very carefully. And I want you to hear me clearly because I will not mince words on this live. Everything I say, I mean every word that I say, I mean every single word. So I, I would advise you to pay very close attention. A witch threatened me on Facebook recently. In fact, several witches have threatened me on Facebook recently. I did a post about the hurricane and about witches releasing curses, etc. I got a lot of pushback on social media. A lot of people uh, didn't like what I said, whether they were people that just didn't believe uh, you know, what I said theologically or just saying little sly comments, little posts. And I usually don't comment on stuff like that. People can say what they want. If they want to say something negative to me or comment or troll, that's up to them. But when you come in my inbox with a threat, a witch, and there have been several of them on my comments, several of them trying to defraud people on my feed, etc. But a witch recently said to me, she said, I didn't like your post and I'm going to bind your tongue. Well, listen here, witch. I'm still talking. My tongue is still moving. But yours won't be, be moving very long. My tongue is still moving, but yours won't be moving very long. You see, the truth is that there are a lot of witches, warlocks and weirdos on social media. And not just social media, but some of them are in the churches. And I believe there's about to be a showdown of the prophets of Baal and the prophets of God. Now, I don't take this lightly. I don't just say stuff for attention or say stuff to be seen because spiritual things are very serious. But what we're seeing, it, we are seeing the intimidation and the very emboldened and brazen attack from those who dwell in darkness on God's people. The Bible says that the curse causeless shall not come. You see, the truth is, if you look at the scriptures, if you look at the scriptures, we have this idea, you know, we're, we're supposed to live amicably and peacefully and not stir up anything and, and all that kind of stuff. But I would remind you that when Simon the sorcerer tried to buy the Holy Ghost with money, the apostles dealt with him. They dealt with him. They dealt with him. When the in Acts chapter 16, when the when the girl with the spirit of divination mocked the people of God, she got dealt with. And she got dealt with by being delivered. And I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, a lot of you don't realize that these people have infiltrated the churches. They've infiltrated churches that have not been on the wall, churches that don't really pray, churches that don't really believe God, and they have mocked the things of God. But I want you to hear this clearly. God will not be mocked. God will not be mocked. God will not be mocked. And I'm telling you, see, God is calling these people to repentance and to be delivered from their darkness. To be delivered from their darkness and to change their evil ways. And I'm imploring you who have been dabbling in witchcraft, sorcery, soothsaying, necromancy, repent of your evil deeds. Repent of your ways. Repent of your ways. This is God's mercy. Repent of your wicked ways. You have tampered with fire. You're messing with something that you have no idea. You will not stand. You will not survive this battle. I can assure you, you will not survive this battle. The scripture says, suffer not a witch to live. You will not survive this battle. You have pandered your witchcraft for far too long, your heresy, your blasphemy. You think that you can say what you want to say and do what you want to do. And by the way, I'm not just talking about the witches that deal in hocus pocus and abracadabra. I'm talking about witch, witches in the pews. 
Oh yeah, we see you. We see you. You go to churches. You pretend to be a prophet or a prophetess. You play the, the Christianese game. You speak Christianese and you say all the stuff and you speak in fake tongues and you go to churches and you pretend to be an intercessor, but really you're on an assignment to destroy that church. You better repent right now because the showdown has begun. The showdown has begun. You Simon the sorcerers. The showdown has begun. I was years ago, I'll share this story with you. I was in a, I was in a restaurant and this lady came into the restaurant pretending to be a Christian. She said all the right things. Oh, I'm, I just came from church and, and we are the church. She said all the right vernacular, but something was off. I discerned something that disturbed me about her. And so finally she comes to me and she's asking us who we were and all of this. And she begins to talk about all the fake pastors in town and how I don't like this pastor and I don't like that pastor and this pastor's phony and that pastor's fake and God's going to judge this pastor in this church. And finally I said, well, let me ask you a question. When you were getting a word for everybody else, did God ever give you a word for yourself? Well, well, he told me I'm a Deborah. I'm, I, I'm a judge. I sit and I judge. I said, well, let me give you a word of the Lord. Examine yourself. She says, what do you mean examine myself? I said, examine yourself. And she starts going on and on and on. And she begins to spew out her, her vitriol. And I said, you know what? You are a Jezebel and you are a witch. And you know what she did? She manifested. She manifested. She says, I know who you are. And she literally was like the wicked witch of the West. She manifested. And I'm telling you something, some of them are manifesting on this live feed right now. They've manifested themselves. And I'm telling you something, you're being exposed. You are not a Christian. You are not a believer. You're not a prophetess. You're not a prophet. If you're not surrendered to the Lord Jesus Christ, if you, if you don't operate by the Holy Ghost, you are not a child of God. You are not a believer. You're a witch and the covers are about to be snatched off of you. You are about to be exposed for who you are if you don't repent of your wicked ways. These people have been responsible for killing pastors. For in, in watch this, getting pastors enthralled in scandals. When, when, when Jim Baker had his scandal, before that scandal, the witches literally did a Jericho march around his property. They fast and pray for the demise of the church. And I'm telling you, this is why a lot of you have been going through what you're going through. You think that you think that it's just stress and, you know, a, a, a adrenal fatigue and and, you know, your hormones are imbalanced and you're just going through a hard season and you need a sabbatical. Some of you are under witchcraft attacks, which witches are in your ministries, they're in your churches. They're in your churches and they're, and they're hiding. And that's why what you got to do is turn up the heat on them. If you want those roaches to catch on fire, turn up the heat. If you want those demons to be cast out, turn up the heat. You need the fire of the Holy Ghost to burn out the witches, burn out the soothsayers and the psychics and the necromancers and the new agers, burn them, let them be burned by Holy Ghost fire. We're not asking them to be killed or destroyed. We're asking them to come to repentance. Repent. 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 You guys have the nerve, the audacity. The audacity. You don't, you're not, you don't stand a chance against real men and women of God. You don't stand a chance. You don't stand a chance. So you know what I told the witch? She says, I'm going to bind your tongue. I said, try it if you want to. It'll be the last thing you do. Try it if you want to. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you to utter my name out of your lips. It will be the last thing you speak before you see your maker. I dare you. I dare you. You better repent. 
repent. Repent, 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 for the kingdom of God is at hand. See, we need the fear of the Lord again. We need the fear of the Lord. See, because what we've lost is the fear of the Lord. People don't respect the church anymore. They don't respect preachers anymore. They don't respect pastors. They don't respect pastors. They have no fear, no reverence. But God is about to restore his fear back to the church. The dread and the glory of God is being restored back to the church. The dread of the Lord is falling on the enemies of God. We need some bold pastors and bold believers who will stop being afraid. And the reason why you're afraid is because your life's not right. But if, we, if we'll get right with the Lord, get right with the Lord, get right with God so that we can be in right standing. They said they want to bind my tongue. Well, guess what? I'm still talking. I'm still talking. But you won't be for very long if you don't stop. And Father, whatever, whatever has given the enemy the boldness to believe that he could stand against us, we repent of it right now. Whatever has given the enemy the boldness that has emboldened him and made him to believe that he could stand against the body of Christ, Lord, we repent right now in the name of Jesus. Share this. Remember, Jesus is Lord.